What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is my top 5 picks for the best accessories for the Nintendo Switch. I know I'm like 2 months late, but hey, better late than never. What makes the Switch so compelling is its size. You can easily fit this in a bag and game on the move and that's what I love about it so much. However, with this portability comes the job of protecting the device from damage. I did pick up some products from Amcase to help us do just that. There are a bunch of these carrying cases on Amazon, but there are a few reasons why I went with this one over the others. The first reason is that it holds the Switch without removing the Joy-Con controllers. Second, it also holds 14 game cards. And finally, it has a small storage space that I found perfect for a small external battery. It's a hard shell case, so I don't have to worry about my Switch being crushed in my bag, and it's also being protected from the inside with soft materials. And finally, this one's a strange thing to note, but I do like the quality of the zipper. It opens up smoothly for those wondering. For $16 on Amazon, this is a killer deal, so if you're looking for a low profile case, you should definitely check this one out. Unfortunately, the Switch's display is made out of plastic, making it so much easier than glass to scratch. This is especially bad considering the docking station issues, where the rails inside would scratch the display. This was a big topic at launch, and needless to say, a screen protector is necessary. The tempered glass screen shields are a great solution. Now, I won't get into all the benefits of glass over plastic, but the big one here is drop protection. I take my Switch almost everywhere with me, and the last thing I want is an accidental drop cracking my screen during the trip. But the good news is, with one of these on, the glass protector will take most of the impact, saving the screen from a crack. And because it's glass, it also feels better than plastic when dragging your finger across the screen. For $9, you get two protectors and everything you need to install them. Highly recommend this deal. So let's move on to our next product, Nintendo's Joy-Con Charging Grip. Now what separates this from the grip included with the Switch, besides the clear plastic, is its charging capabilities. To normally charge the controllers, they would need to be connected to the Switch, which would pose issues when gaming on my TV with a low charge. But with this, we can charge the Joy-Con controllers while gaming, and we can also plug it in via USB-C to charge the controller's battery pack at the same time. The charging grip is sold by Nintendo for $30, which is a bit pricey, but in my opinion, it is a must-have. Speaking of power, my battery pack of choice is the Anchor PowerCore 26800. The Switch's battery size is 4310 mAh. So with the 26800 mAh battery size of the PowerCore, we can charge the Switch approximately 5 times. It also features rapid charge that allows the power bank to be quick charged through the USB-C port as well as fast charging technologies that fast charge both non-Qualcomm and Qualcomm devices. To check the battery's remaining level, there is actually a simple indicator light, although I would have preferred an LCD screen, but I think that's asking a bit too much from a power bank. Also, the price would have been a lot higher. This thing is the GOAT, guys. Each full charge on a Switch lasts about 3 hours, and with 5 times the juice, I can get about 15 hours of game time on this thing before it needs to be plugged into a wall. This is definitely a must for those of you who are always on the go. So one design flaw the Switch has is with the kickstand. The way it is by default, you can't charge the console with the kickstand open when in the tabletop orientation. That's where the Hori Compact Playstand comes in. It's a simple solution that gives the user three different tilt angles. It pretty much does exactly as advertised while keeping all ports and buttons accessible. It does have rubber feet on the bottom to keep everything stable and from sliding, and it works with a lot of devices. It also happens to work with my Fire Tablet. It's going for $13 on Amazon right now, and I highly recommend checking this one out as well. I'm starting to sound redundant. Obviously, I recommend checking out all of these products on my list, otherwise it wouldn't be in this top 5 video. The final accessory in this list actually pairs great with the Hori Kickstand. The Kosun grips are the perfect solution for on-the-go multiplayer gameplay. It gives the thin and awkward to hold Joy-Con controllers a more traditional console controller feel. I tried this out with a buddy while playing Mario Kart and it works great. You just slide the controller in and that's about it. You honestly do get a more comfortable grip without losing any functionality. They're made out of plastic and a little cheap but I don't see them breaking unless you drop them from a distance or don't really care for them. You get two for the price of $13 and once again this is another must have. So that is it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and want to see more top 5 videos like these, leave a like. If you hate my guts and hate these videos, leave a dislike, that is cool as well. 
All the parts mentioned in the video will be linked down below as well. If anyone is interested, I love your faces. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.